We have massive, massive breaking news out of Verizon. I wanted to grab your guys' attention and talk you through what's about to take place, how it's happening, and share with you guys, the audience, as to what I know. So the the article on screen, you know, this is this. this I'm, I'm going to speak about a different topic. I just wanted to use this as a placeholder, but. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So, massive news coming out of Verizon. The C band is clearing early. And this is the B block, not the A block. The B block is clearing early. It started about a week ago. So, I heard about this uh, several weeks back that early clearing was going to happen on that B block. But the source at that time just did not know the full extent as to how this was going to take place and when it's really going to happen and how long it's going to take. They just didn't know at that time, but it is in full motion. So here's what's happening. The A block is still 60 megahertz and it will remain 60 megahertz until at t moves off of their 40 megahertz, which I am told could happen starting August, September time frame. That's when AT&T could start moving off of that A block and then Verizon would be able to gain possession of the entire A block, which is 100 megahertz. So for now, depending on PEA, I want to make this very clear. It depends on the PEA. As of right now, I do not have a list of which PEA is going to get clearance of that B block. What I do know is in the market's I hear Detroit, a couple of others, some in California. The markets that have early clearance to that B block, it will be aggregated. So it's going to be 60 on the A block and 60 on the B block. So it's going to be a total of 120 megahertz that, that'll go on air until AT&T moves off of the A block. Once AT&T moves off the A block, then it'll go to 160 megahertz and of course, depending on region, PEA, county, it'll go to 200, you know, depending on what Verizon bought. But given what Verizon already stated, they have about 141 megahertz on average nationally. So that's a good chunk of spectrum and it's contiguous, right? There's no frag fragmentation issue. It's, it's all contiguous. That's why it cost them so much. So this is happening. This, this, it's really here. So you guys should start getting excited. Now, you know, what can you expect and how is this going to progress throughout the rest of this year? So since the early clearing is early clearing is here, Verizon's going to go full throttle. There will be another acceleration of upgrades, right? As you see in this article, San Jose's network is being upgraded. That's happening all across the board. Verizon now smells blood, so to speak. They can now sense that they are very close to obtaining the goal that they want to get to scale. That's a different topic. That's going to need time, right? But they were very vicious as to which markets they wanted to attack first. And they did so very quickly. They accelerated spend and they got to the 200 million pops as quickly as they could, which covers 99% of the top hundred markets. And yes, within those markets, there are still some sites that, that will need to be upgraded, but Verizon's getting to them, and they're going to get to them very quickly. There's a lot of money going into this. So what do I anticipate towards the end of the year? I think T-Mobile's speed lead is gone. I, I said this in a previous video from a network standpoint. I think Verizon will be the fastest carrier. Now, again, the scale will matter, so that's going to that's gonna take time. But I think in a lot of and, – and, and that's probably not going to reflect on a national scale – but a lot of individual markets that have early clearance to the B block, you're going to see Verizon speed up there very quickly because it's it's just a flip of a switch. The radios are already on the tower. So you're going to see that very quickly. Then you're going to eventually see AT&T move off the A block. That gives Verizon 160 megahertz. Then you're going to start seeing some of those sites move off of 1 gig and they're going to go to 10 gig. So that's going to be where Verizon really starts speeding up. And that's going to happen very quick. 
over 50% of Verizon's radios are on its own fiber. Keep that in mind. So whatever they need to do to transition from 1 gig in some markets to 10 gig, Verizon can do it. They can do it very swiftly. They can do it aggressively. And that will speed up the network tremendously in a flip of a switch. It won't take that long. Verizon has prepped for this a very long time. They said they would be the dominant 5G player. And it's here. They only bought A and B block. They didn't even bother to buy C block. They went contiguous. They went big. So keep that in mind. Again, this is massive. You will start seeing some of these being posted on Reddit. I, I've already received screenshots of the service mode where it's 60 megahertz of C-band and then another 60 megahertz, which is 120. So that gives us that gives us the, uh, the official that, yes, the B-block is being cleared and it's being turned on. I am being told from the engineering side they're trying to get this activated through the uh, maintenance window, which is usually overnight. So some of your towers could be A block only and then B block in the morning. Again, it depends on the PEA. Just keep your eyes open. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.